was the most mentioned because she's not. Nicki Minaj was the most mentioned, not just that. Nicki Minaj is that bitch. Nicki Minaj is a bitch. Period. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Christy, and welcome back to Barb City. You guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'm begging. I need it. Let's get right into it. Apparently, you guys, Monique was supposed to be the headliner of a show. D.L. Hughley did not like that. You know how men be trying to step on women's toes, especially black women's toes. We're not about to play around. But Monique was not feeling it. And this is what she had to say. Y'all don't understand I was ready to walk the fuck up out of here. But I said I came at the people down of motherfucking Detroit. Because the promoters as raggedy as a motherfucker. The contract, oh, nigga. The motherfucking contract said that a bitch is the headliner. The headliner. Let me say it again, the headliner. That's what the motherfucking contract says. Monique is to be the last motherfucking person on the goddamn stage. She is the headliner. That's what I signed the fuck up for. I'm 30 plus years in this motherfucking business and I don't open for no goddamn body. The contract said the headliner. The contract said the headliner. The contract said the headliner. But a nigga named D.O. Hughes turned into a bitch and said I won't perform if she does that. Don't go out if she does that. Nigga, you open for the kings of comedy. I close for the queens of comedy, nigga. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't fuck with no motherfucking body. But when you cross the line with me, nigga, you have crossed the motherfucking line. And that bitch, nigga, has crossed the motherfucking line. See, we got a history, nigga. We got a history. That nigga went on a tour talking about all Monique wasn't. You can Google it right now. D.L. Hughley on Monique, all I wasn't, what I wasn't worth, all of this bullshit, and nigga, you put your feet under my motherfucking table. So you came to my home, nigga, and you put your feet under my motherfucking table. I don't get down like that, goddammit. You got a bitch wrong. You talk about young thugs, and cause of they names, nigga, your name is D.L. What the fuck does it stand for? Hey, how far are you bending over, nigga, on the D.L.? With the wrong one. See, black women, let me tell you something. A lot of black men in Hollywood got a problem with me. Because I got a motherfucking black king that's my husband. And them niggas can't understand it, they can't fathom it. It makes them motherfucking sick. Because at what time did black men start attacking black women? That's a bitch nigga. What kind of real nigga would ever attack a goddamn black woman? A bitch nigga. I feel sorry for Dale Hughley's family. I feel sorry for his motherfucking wife. Cause how do you suck the dick of a coward? I want to give you the history, mama. So you understand. See, when I look at my wise sisters, and she look at me like this, get that nigga. Thank you, mama. See, I did this radio show one time, right? Because I'm, I'm thinking, this is my boy. This, man, this nigga ain't never had no motherfucking problem, y'all. <laughs> right? This my motherfucking dude. So we on the radio show, and when we get to the end of the motherfucking program, this is your program. <laughs> bitch want the England program. When we get to the end of the program, oh, they say, Monique, would you like to play a game? Well, bitch, I like to play games. So I said, sure, let's play a game. And it's a game called Would You Rather. Would You Rather. I said, fuck it, let's go. And then the sister Jasmine says, Would you rather your husband? Fuck Lee Daniels without a condom or Corinne Steffen with one. I want y'all to hear the best shit this nigga that tried to put me through, y'all. Would you rather your husband fuck like, nigga, 
what kind of shit are you putting over the air to your motherfucking listeners? That's coon shit. So be careful who's feeding your motherfucking soul, cause you might swallow coon pie and you can't. <laughs> so as you guys can see. My girl, Monique, girl, I love you. I love you. I have nothing negative to say about you, girl. You crazy, you crazy. You make me, girl, you crack me up. It is so funny that people would actually believe that somebody who's been in the game over 30 years would be asked to open for somebody. That does not make sense. What does make sense is some men do not feel that women are superior to them or even equal to them. And they will do everything to make it known. I'm a man, you're a woman, stay in your place, okay? And I do believe that that's what happened with D.L. Hughley in this situation. And it's very unfortunate, you know, that he feels that black women should be beneath him instead of equal to him, especially after everything that we've already gone through. So I stand a hundred percent with Monique in this situation. But anyways, uh, Mr. Hughley did post a deal memo and a deal memo does come before the actual contract. So I don't know what he was really trying to prove with this, but Hey, whatever. He said he doesn't want to hear anything else about it. Since he did post this, this is like his proof. Don't say anything to him. Don't bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how far he was going to get with a deal memo when there's actually people out there in the industry that's in the same business and, as him that can simply say, hey, sir, that's not a contract. That's a deal memo. Oh, and by the way, where are all the um, signatures and everything that's supposed to be on there? You know what I mean? Anyway, he also posted this as proof of the schedule showing that he was the last to perform, which is typically when the headliner of the show performs. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't believe him. <laughs> so Monique had um, basically said, hey, sir, you posted a deal memo. You didn't post a contract. That's not any legal paperwork whatsoever she feels like um basically he had a lot of people fooled even people that work in the same area as them were fooled by this deal memo that he posted like it's not a contract it doesn't have signatures it doesn't and that's not showing that you did not throw a fit to get in that headlining position simple as that and um, all we want to see is the actual contract that was given and signed by D.L. Hughley. You know, her um, people on her side already said he doesn't have a signed contract, never did have a signed contract. The only signed one is hers. And as you can see, this is a contract, not a deal memo. This was also post by, posted excuse me, by Monique herself, and it is a contract listing her as the headliner, um, saying that she was purchased to be in that spot at that time. And nowhere on this contract does it say that, hey, D.L. Hughley is the headliner and you're just going to have to deal with it. It doesn't say that. It clearly says Monique is the headliner of the show. Not to mention, she also has this email here. Hi, Stephanie. Can Monique do the call at two still? Here is the information. And she also posted the show schedule that shows her in the headlining position at the bottom of the page so it's just it's it's confusing you guys but at the same time i truly believe monique um now she says now you told me to check with my management perhaps you need to check with yours because they have you uh posted up deal memos trying to pass it as a contract and buddy i'm not stupid and i'm gonna put you on forefront so basically you guys monique is not having it she's not giving in she wants the real contract right now she is not playing with him so dl hughley tried to respond and basically say when have you ever seen the headliner at the bottom and the mention last the confusion is with you and your whoever pumped you up with premium octane like dude stop it stop it stop it stop it no whoever pumped you up to believe that 
you should be in a position where Monique's opening up for you is ridiculous. Okay. Then you have the nurse to post every single person that she's gotten into it with. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. Every single person that she has had an issue with in the industry. Like you're trying to gaslight this woman. You're basically bringing this up so that people could be like, she does have a lot of problems with the industry. Dude, we know everything that's taking place with Monique and, and all these people in the industry. And to be quite honest, it's everybody else's fault. It's not Monique. Okay, it is not her. So stop trying to put it on her. It, it was Oprah. It was Tyler. It was Charlemagne. It was it was that person. It was this person. It was that 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 and it was you too, DL Hughley. You disrespected the queen. You should have let the queen of comedy get on the stage, make her mark, and you should have been the opener. Simple as that. I don't know who DL Hughley Hugley or whatever his name is thought he was but come on now who's gonna honestly believe that somebody disrespected Monique to the point where they asked her not just to open but to open for DL Hughley come on now you guys it don't even make sense make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you